What is going on, everybody? DJ Mike. So in today's video, NiceHash is now claiming that they can unlock 100% unlock LHR cards. Assuming that this is true, which we're going to get into in just a moment, this will change the entire way that the GPU, at least the LHR cards, the, the entire industry will change overnight or whenever they release this. Shout out to my Discord member, little underscore time for posting this in my Discord. Now, of course, I was a little suspicious, not because of him personally. I've seen him around my Discord. So I also went through Red Panda's Discord and I saw that people were also posting this, which I didn't click on immediately, but then it brought me over to Twitter. Just to show you, this is the official nice hash Twitter. You can tell by that verified mark here, 75 thousand followers if we scroll down just a little bit right here you're gonna see they made an announcement nice hash has successfully unleashed the lock computing power for millions of people worldwide we are the first to fully unlock nvidia's lhr 100 you're welcome 100 lhr unlock please note i have not tested this yet i have not even seen any of this information yet so let's look at it together 100 lhr unlock at nice hash it's here so what we're seeing here is a 3080 Ti running at 281 watts and getting the first time I've ever seen this 120 mega hash. And I do believe with T-Rex people are getting upwards of 100 mega hash. That's, so that's an extra 20% gain there. And they're claiming that's about 3.19. I believe that's pound or euro. I don't, I don't remember to be honest with you. I do apologize for that, but that's a big jump from what it was. The temps for their test, obviously this will change with your ambient and everything going on with your situation, 49 degrees Celsius. 89 degrees Celsius on the VRAM, which is actually really good if you are getting that 100% load, 81% fan. And I would love to see what they're doing as far as the memory and everything. The efficiency is 0.43, which is much better than it used to be. The article reads, now you can earn more profits than any other mining software on the market if you're using LHR graphics cards with NiceHash QuickMiner.support. I actually don't know what QuickMiner.support is. I am interested to find out what that is. Or nice hash miner is coming soon. This also makes it more advantageous than mining direct to a pool. Ooh, that's that's a big claim. I wonder how that would work out. Okay, since other software is not capable of unleashing the full capacity of your hardware, that would make sense. I mean, why would you go on a pool and make 80%, for example, this Zotac here making only 80% when you could get 100% allegedly anyways? So yeah, that's a huge claim and we'll see if that works out register at nice hash download our quick miner I, again i've never heard of quick miner maybe that's just the the app they use and get paid in bitcoin every four hours here you can create an account or download quick miner i'll put a link for this in the description below important notice you must use quick miner version 0.5.4.0 rc release candidate when installing quick miner the current stable release 0.6 does not offer full unlock. I do want to mention this video is not sponsored in any way. I just wanted to read the full article in all fairness to them. What are the benefits of mining at NiceHash over mining directly? Low payout threshold. You can go with a very small amount of BTC. You guys do know I love my Bitcoin. I'm very bullish on Bitcoin in the long term. Frequent payouts every four hours. Bitcoin payouts, tax reports, PPS. So if you don't know PPS is per share, that's just pretty much the way you're you're mining it. When you're on the pool side, you're not generally doing PPS. You can do PPS, but it just depends on the pool. Dedicated human support. Okay. Smartest and biggest crypto communities, text of Discord and Reddit, which I'm actually going to check both of those. So I did click on that link for their Discord and user Flamethrower sent me this in the public chat and they said, yes, this is their 3060. They're getting 50 mega hash, as you can see right here. Temps are good. Everything seems to be working and it appears that this is live right now going on. So if we scroll down and go to the frequently asked questions, again, what is QuickMiner? That's what I was wondering. QuickMiner is a one-click miner designed for ease of use, featuring game mode for gamers, overclocks, OC tune. It has really smooth and efficient profiles, easy to set up and maximize your profit. It uses Excavator now with 100% unlock. So maybe this is what's new about it. I haven't used NiceHash since I first started crypto mining back in 2016, 2017, but I did quit. So, you know, I wish I would have stuck with it back then. This is a big question here. What GPUs are supported or all LHR variants supported? As of now, all LHR variants, except for LHR version three, which is the 3050 and the 3080 12 gigabyte are supported. Hey, that's good for me. I would never buy the 3050 and I would never buy the 3080 12 gig. I'm sorry if you do have one of those guys, but uh, unfortunately you will not get supported through this. What GPU driver should I be using? Use the generally recommended drivers, either 47, 
point blah blah or the latest nvidia drivers okay so i actually probably would need to update my drivers i think my drivers are very old does 100 unlock only work on nice hash yes the 100 unlock only works on nice hash you cannot use it to mine anywhere else and this is a huge one is linux supported no there is no linux support yet so man windows people are going to have a huge advantage right now 100 lhr unlock only works in windows are other algorithms also supported? No. For only Dagger Hashimoto, ETHash is unlocked. Wow. So, oh man, that's big. The excavator restarts itself. I am using MSI Afterburner for overclock. Do not use MSI Afterburner for overclocking, but use Octotune or Octune. Wow. Can I run other third party miners besides Quick Miner? Running third party miners besides Quick Miner will not work. How does the 100% LHR unlock work? It's a kind of magic. We'll look at that in just a second. What is the expected performance of LHR GPUs for a 3060? Just like the version ones that we have, I actually have two of those, 50 mega hash. 3060 Ti, LHR, 60 mega hash. 3070 LHR, also 60 mega hash. I wonder if they can tweak that to 61, 62. 3070 Ti, 80 mega hash. Wow, a lot of people don't even try to buy 3070 Ti's, but I can tell you right now at 81 mega hash, there's gonna be a lot more buying. The 3080, uh, 10 gigabyte is 98. Oh my goodness, gonna be so nice. The 3080 Ti, again, 120 mega hash. Let's go back to this link. How does the 100% LHR unlock work? Okay, so a slightly a little troll there or excitement here. It's a, it's a song from Queen, A Kind of Magic. Okay, that's a good one. You got me. So my goodness, guys and girls. I mean, almost all my rigs are on Linux. I only have like three rigs that are on Windows. I guess we know what we have to do now. I'm going to be swapping over a couple things on Windows. I'm going to keep this one. We're going to do a bunch of test rigs on Windows. We're going to go live for that. This video is not for that because I don't think it's out yet. I'm not really too sure. But dude, if you're not like first to market, you are missing 20% of your gains. Imagine how many people right now are sleeping or whenever it does come out, they're sleeping on the information. They want to be stubborn. They won't want to swap over. You're going to have a 20% gain for however long. I don't know how long that will last but over every other person that does not want to swap over. So I'm very excited about this news. Like I said, I have a bunch of LHR, probably like 30 or 40 LHR cards. Everything on that table there is probably like 15 graphics cards sitting LHR, everything in my closet, LHR. And then we have a bunch more just laying around my house. So I'm very, very excited, guys. If you like this video, please like it. Consider subscribing to the channel. Share it out with your friends. Spread the news, guys. NiceHash is claiming, and it looks pretty legit. I went into their Discord as well to confirm, and the admins were like, yeah, dude, it's not a scam. It's not like, yeah, it's not a hack. Like, this is happening. So, guys, let's go live. We have a lot of work to do this weekend. This changes pretty much everything I was doing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. DJ Minds, signing out.